Now, let's talk about you two. I'm thrilled that you're both here. You are two of my favourite people on planet Earth, and you have worked together on these wildly successful Halloween movies. And we're uh, neighbours. And, and we're neighbours. <laughs> now, Jamie... Jamie, I'm told that you found an old email from oh, Jason. yes, I... You say okay. changed no, your life. No, it's not life. an old email. This is just... What I love is that the creative process begins somewhere. And, you know, here we've made these three Halloween movies. This is how they began, literally. This was an <laughs> email sent on September 7th, 2016, at 8.52 p.m. by Mr. Blum to David Gordon Green, who ultimately ended up writing and directing this trilogy, which we are concluding with Halloween Ends on Friday. And this is what he wrote. DGG, maybe this is insane, but because I know you were maybe going to do Suspiria, I figured I would ask Halloween, creative control, John Carpenter doing the score for you. What do you think? A sandbox you would e ever want to play in? Or am I crazy, Jason? That, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between and all at once is how these three movies happened. One email. <laughs> one I email, love that. One email. I mean, not a meeting, not a bunch of pitching, no. not a bunch of talk. No. One email. And Jason and David wrote back, and his response, the first word of his response was, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Period. I mean, your company, Jason, has, has produced, Blumhouse Films has produced some of the most successful horror franchises in, of the genre, really, certainly in, in recent history. What was it? What was it that got you into horror in the first place? Well, I was lucky enough, Paranormal Activity was the movie that got me into yeah. horror. I was 35 years old when uh, Paranormal Activity happened, and I had been doing the movie business, but I couldn't figure out, I loved the movie business, but I couldn't figure out a part that I really connected to. Mm. I was kind of doing some studio movies, which I found frustrating. I was doing independent movies, which no one would see. <laughs> and, and, but I liked aspects of both. In fact, what I liked about the studio movies was the distribution. And what I liked about the independent movies was not the distribution, but the production, the actual making of them. And if you think about Paranormal Activity, it's kind of the perfect mix of both, yeah. right? It's the ultimate indie film released by a very traditional studio. And I love that. And I love that hor with horror, you could do that. You could make low budget movies that were subversive, and messed up and work with movie stars or very or people that you've never heard of. You could kill the lead character in the first 30 minutes of the movie. These are all things you can't do in big studio movies. You can take creative risks. And so once that happened, that paranormal activity moment happened, I never turned back. How much, can I ask, did it cost to make Paranormal Activity, that movie? Paranormal Activity's original budget, we added a few things later, but the original budget was $15,000. Yeah! $15,000? $15,000. And you can do it too. And hang on, so wait, because <laughs> I think this is amazing for any young filmmaker yes. or anyone creative out there. It cost $15,000, and how much did it go on to make at the box office? $200 million. <laughs> It's a good return. It was, a good, a, it was good a good return. return. It's a solid return. It was a solid return. I want to talk to you. James, Jason talked there about having famous people in the films, not in the films. You have a rule about when you text another celebrity. Well, yeah. You ask them a question. Can yes. you explain this? What, well, what would the, why do you do that, and what would the test question be for me? Well, I do that because there's something called fishing and there's something called brushing and there's people pretending to be who you, that you think they are and they'll say, hey, Jame, it's Jason, whatever. Mm, yeah. And you go, I haven't talked to them in a while. I say, prove it. Right. And they go, what do you mean? I say, prove it. What's our secret question? What's the answer to this? And then I ask them a question. And uh, if they answer correctly, I then continue the conversation. And if they don't answer, I know they're not you. So my secret question for you would be, who guest hosted your show while your wife was in labor and giving birth? Harry Styles? Yes, you would now. <laughs> I would know. Now you could it was you. There you go. Okay. Now you can talk to each other. Okay. Now that that's established. See, I now know that that's you. 
Jason would be the worst person to do this with because Jason found out only 10 days ago that for two years he's been texting my wife. Oh, God. Thinking he's texting me. <laughs> oh, boy. True story. I believe True it. True story. I believe it. Arguably the worst person on text in planet Earth is sat yes. next to you right there. <laughs> for sure. I'm and sure. by the way, I have a secret question if it was Jason. Go on, what would it what be? What would it be? How much did you originally offer me? <laughs> <laughs> I would have said five dollars. And you, I'm and I would have like, absolutely hey, right, hey, dude. How are you? <laughs> exactly. You do have a wonderful working relationship, the the, the two of you. And uh, and Jason, you actually paid tribute ah. to Jamie oh, yes. by yes. dressing up as yes. her character yes. from Halloween. Look at this you was here. During the premiere for Halloween Kills yeah. a year ago. So, Jason, what, what I, was, what, well, let what me was this for? I love dressing. I know I, y y everyone has told me you don't like dressing up. I actually didn't know that about you. I, I'm sorry for you because dressing up is just one of the joys of the, the world. It's one of the joys of my life. And I particularly like dressing up as a woman. That I don't know why, but I always do. Every Halloween. Surely. I'm, surely. What Shirley, did you do? Can we talk? Shirley, what happened here? What happened? Why does he like to dress like a woman? Yes. I haven't the faintest idea, except he's so good looking. That's ah. And he does make a beautiful woman. Well said, well said. No, my, I was originally got into dressing up because I grew up uh, with my mother for Halloween. We'd start our costume in August. We'd, we made the most amazing handmade costumes. We were really into it. When I was seven or eight, I was, wasn't, hadn't discovered dressing as a young girl at that point. I was dressing more as like the abominable snowman. Anyway, I came into dressing up as a woman and, and this is my tribute to Jamie. This is, I'm wearing what Laurie is wearing in the first movie. This is, I believe, the premiere for the second movie. Yes. And at this premiere, I wanted it to be a costume premiere. And it was a dream premiere for me because everyone came in costume. That was my costume. I don't love always costumes. However, this Halloween costume, this is you and your wife, Lauren, oh. as Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner, and your so wife good. is Jared Kushner. Yes. And you are Ivanka Trump. Yeah, that is Look my wife. That. that is my wife. Absolutely I'm Ivanka. exceptional. Yeah, this is when I was really impressed with you. This is when I understood much more about you. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, Ivanka, I was asked what scares, you know, I'm, a, I'm an expert clearly on, on scary things, so I was asked what scares me, and what scares me the most, of course, is Donald Trump. And so I thought this would be kind of, since I had to be a woman, I thought this was as close as I could get to a, to a scary man. It's absolutely brilliant, as is your new movie, Halloween Ends. Oh, nice Let's talk way. about it. This is the final film, the final film in the Blumhouse produced trilogy. Yes. Um, tell us what's happening in this one. What can we expect? So it's the final girl, final film, final fight. It's scary AF. Uh, but it's also kind of weird. It's a weirder Halloween movie. It's a little bit of an indie love story. It's kind of a, this, as you said last night at the premiere. We had the premiere last night of the movie. It's so exciting. It's very fun. This man stood up and said, it's the most David Gordon Green of the three. Like, this is the full David Gordon Green. And well, it's, but it's plenty bloody, don't worry. No, for you, the, the oh, Halloween plenty of fans, red meat. we want you yeah, plenty of red meat. We don't disappoint. I don't want anyone to get nervous that it's too arty. I think lots of people talk about Michael Myers and they talk about Halloween, and I, I've come to the conclusion that I think these films, these most recent films, have been a huge, unequivocal success because of you mm. and your performance. I really, really do, and I think it should be celebrated.